Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Up. And today I am going to talk about how to bypass a serious problem on the internet and um, and how the average person can do whatever they need to do to get around this. So as far as the problem, let's uh, let's talk about what you're seeing here. So what you're seeing here is Southern Link, which is my internet provider. And right now in my area, there's two internet providers, CenturyLink and Southern Link. CenturyLink is so horrible. I used to have them. They were so horrible and unreliable. I had a thing on my computer, always looking at, and you might see my background. I had things attached to that where, uh, where you'll look at the internet, see how stable it is, and how much it gets across, because I had things always uploaded and downloaded and all the time with cloud services and other things, and uh, and camera security. The um, CenturyLink, about 90 to 98 percent of the time, depending on what's going on, it it was unstable, and um, a lot of the time, I think it was a majority of the time, it was worse than dial-up. So or or equal to than uh, dial-up. So that's something to really keep in mind because that's saying a lot. So pretty much I only have Southern Link or nothing. Now a lot of people might say, well, you got Verizon, you got some other stuff, and not in my area. And yes, I can get it, but I literally don't have 4G services for I think 50 miles from my house. And I live out in the boondocks, so I barely get internet signal. In fact, I have to have Wi-Fi calling on my phones because it's that bad and I live that far out. So that's something to keep in mind. That, uh, and a lot Because a lot of people deal with the exact same thing where they only got one internet provider and that's it. Or, or two at, at best. So what I'm happening here is... Southern Link and Viacom, they're, they're, they're supposed to have some type of business deal, and I believe it's um, TV, cable type of bu business deal, not internet. But uh, Southern Link and Viacom, they were supposed to sit down and actually um, a a actually go and um, agree to some things. One or the other didn't like the terms, so Southern Link dropped 24 channels from their list. And I believe this is cable TV channels. I don't believe this is blocking the, the uh, videos from the Viacom's websites, which uh, it's pretty bad. And um, as far as a retaliation, and this is from what I'm hearing from other Southern Link users, that Viacom's actually blocked all of their services from Southern Link users on the internet. I don't really care who blocked what, I just know the end, end game. And to be all honest, I'm thinking that it's Viacom blocked it, because why would Southern Link make themselves look bad? Um, from a business standpoint, that's horrible. So, because from a, um, if it was Southern Link blocking this stuff, then pretty much where it says Southern Link, it'll be switched around to Viacom, where it says Viacom, it'll be switched around with Southern Link. So I'm thinking that the people who are, who are saying that Viacom's just pure out, retaliated and blocked everything from Sunlink users, I'm thinking that uh, that's probably more than than uh, not the case. And uh, this has happened within the past day or two. So as far as things goes, the end result is I just can't watch certain things on the internet through their channels. Obviously I can go through YouTube and some other stuff, but who wants to do that? I mean, chances are is the video is going to be taken down through to copyright reasons on YouTube and and um, th there's several other things there. But how do you get around this? So first things first is it might be best to just go to the channel, test it out, see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't work, then you need to get a VPN. Now VPNs are a shot in the dark. I got private internet access. And what I mean by a shot in the dark is how a VPN works is um, it will send a signal through from your devices to their servers. Anything in between, it, it, it can't see the signal. So um, if it's suddenly like blocking the stuff, suddenly it can't see the stuff. Now, if it's Viacom blocking the stuff, 
why aren't they able to block the stuff? Well, it's because, and this is why it's a shot in the dark. If the um, servers are using some type of internet service, then, um, because you can set up a VPN at your own house, if they um, using some type of other internet service, then the Viacom thinks that I'm actually at the uh, server area and I'm under whatever the server internet is using. So that's something really important to note because um, right now with the VPN off, it thinks I'm here at my house and, um, and I'm using Sunlink, which I am. But um, if, if I'm running it through a VPN, through the VPN servers, say that I'm here in North Carolina, the VPN servers are in, I don't know, California, it, it, the uh, Viacom will think I'm in California going through their internet. So that's pretty important to note. Well, let's refresh this to show it actually worked since the VPN's up and running. And th the other reason why it's a shot in dark it, other than the, the internet provider from the VPN standpoint it's uh, a shot in the dark because some sites actually block VPNs um, and specifically um, certain VPNs because you're not going to be able to block every single VPN in the world but you can block certain and as you see here it's working and I'm going to wait until these advertisements done to show you it's working on the actual thing now as you see here it's it's working it's good to go and um, yeah it's whatever Let's uh, turn off the VPN real quick. And give it a second or two. And it's blocked. So, because it thinks that I'm here, because the VPN's off. Now, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll try to help you as quickly as possible. Also, if you have any other VPNs that you like other than private internet access, then please leave a link in the name of them below and possibly how much they cost to help out anyone viewing this video. And uh, if you got any other tips or anything, because there probably is several other ways to get around this, then please leave that below and, um, and that'd be great. But anyways, if you like this video, if it's helped you, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And please visit Tech Reviews and Help.